How's it going? YouTube Tech here and in this video it's finally time to uncover iPadOS 18. So I've already uploaded videos on iOS 18 Beta 2, Apple Intelligence, macOS Sequoia. So it's finally time for me to dig into iPadOS 18. So this is iPadOS 18 Beta 7 and it was about 440 megabytes. So I'm running it on my old and good iPad Pro 2018. So in this video I'll talk about the major changes that iPad Pros 2018 get and should you upgrade. So starting with notes, when you start writing with Apple Pencil, it snaps into a better handwriting which resembles your own handwriting, which looks more readable and clean, so it's called Smart Script. It's done using on-device machine learning models, and not just this, you can convert type text into your handwriting, so as soon as you start to write something, it snaps into better handwriting or converts it in from a type text automatically. So this does not work on the iPad Pro 2018s. There is only one thing that does work are some other features like collapsible sections. The headers can hide notes within them using a drop down like interface. And you can highlight text for easy marking up, record audio, and that also have live transcription. But the live transcription part is not available on the iPad Pro 2018. Well, actually there is something new. Within notes, you get math notes. So this basically brings us to the finally and newly added calculator app to the iPad. So for the very first time. And this literally sounds like the classic Apple move. Like in everyone said before, there will be no notch on the iPhone 14 lineup. But with that, they introduced Dynamic Island. Instead of just having notch removed, why not give something extra? So just like that, in addition to the calculator app, they introduced a math note. So as soon as you write a calculation, expression, it quickly instantly solves it for you and even plots a graph. It's inside the calculator app, there is its own space to write notes. And in normal calculator, there is also a unit conversion tool with scientific calculator. Well, I think math note is certainly useful. You can save a bit of time with calculations and other features, the notes, and they're okay. But the most useful feature is missing that is Apple intelligence features like rewriting tools and chat GPT integration. So with SharePlay, you can share your screen and with permission, your friend can use and draw on your screen to point out what exactly you should do next. Then in Freeform, there is pretty amazing features. So you already know what it is and how it works. So when you write on the board anywhere, it could get messy and hard to find. So now you can create scenes for each part of the same board and set scenes. So first, this, then I'll write something else, then add scene, and so on. So this basically lets you jump through sections of the board which can be renamed and ordered. And you can also add connectors which will stay even if you move them. There are shareable links which will open the same board on the other devices. So this is also available on iOS 18, but taking advantage of bigger display, Apple has made their due mention for this feature on iPads. So the next thing we have is a new redesigned interface for the apps on the iPad. So if you go into either numbers, pages, keynotes or files, you will see a redesigned customizable sidebar or tab bar. So this can take you to recently opened or shared documents. Well, we should put a period here because this is the end for quite exclusive feature on iPad. Even Apple intelligence is same over every device, correct me if I'm wrong, but that not all. You still have some features of iOS 18 like in Safari you can go to menu and see what's the highlight on the web page you are currently in and there is a smart redesign reader that shows a table of content and summarizes it and makes it look cleaner. Then you can customize your home screen by placing apps anywhere and the tinting and dark mode for app icons. You can lock and hide apps also. Then the newly added passwords app. Customizable multi-page control center like iOS 10, but in a new form factor of devices with face ID. So you access them from top right, scroll down, and you can add pages. You can increase the size of the actual controls. Then we have the redesigned photos app. I think it looks better on iPad because of the bigger display. And you can also customize it so to hide or remove or add sections. Game mode finally comes to the iPad with iPad OS 18 
that we actually heard before in the macOS Sonoma. Then we have the new iMessage features like send later, new effects and expressions. And that's it. So there's a tons of changes on the iPad, but you might understand the difference in having tons of changes versus exclusive changes, which I believe the iPad OS 18 is lacking a little bit. And the older iPads even more since there won't be any Apple intelligence features. That's pretty much about it. And iPadOS Beta 7 definitely make it a little more smoother. So you want to try it out, go ahead. But we are just a month away from the final release. So if you have waited this long, why not another month or so? But anyways, this is it about iPadOS 18 Beta, iPad Pro 2018. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.